worthwhile if we don't want to actively engage to edit Wikimedia projects. I am Kasper, and uh, I'm the editor and editor of the Polish Wikipedia, and today we will Grzegorz Kopaczewski, CEO of the Wikimedia Poland, talk something about this topic. So, uh, we will uh, we'll consider whether the means and forms of communication we use are attractive to young people. Every day, the thousands of editors and Wikimedia projects they create articles on the field, but only a small amount of them are the young editors. Unfortunately, this is a great problem because all their editors are experiencing burnout, burnout and uh, giving up. So uh, who will come to this place? The logical, logical successors will be the young people, students for example, from high schools, from universities. Uh, these people was familiar with new technologies uh, and also familiar with Wikipedia, Wikimedia because they use Wikimedia in his, uh, in his work, in his uh, study, so they know how, it, uh, they should know how Wikipedia works, but they don't uh, want to increase his knowledge to uh, Wikipedia. So, uh, why uh, the problem uh, is? So, uh, in order to give our considerations uh, substantial value, I recent, in recent months I uh, conducted a statistical research on high schools on youth from the southern Poland. I received uh, 2,157 responses from people mainly aged from 50 to 80, uh, and uh, these students are just finishing uh, the high school or the on the starting the university. In my opinion, the research should be disturbing because young people seem to know no basic information how Wikipedia and Wikimedia uh, works. They use and trust us without thinking about nothing of us. So uh, we have some questions. Uh, the research were not false. if you can get involved in Wikipedia. Is Wikipedia trustworthy? What does it mean that Wikipedia is free encyclopedia? Do, do Wikipedia editors have get paid for their work? And can you do something if you notice an error of typo in Wikipedia? These were very simple even elementary questions. However, the answers terrified me. The survey shows as many as 83% uh, of people aged 50-80 don't know what Wikipedia really is. 42% uh, uh, claim that Wikipedia is a service run by scientific, scientific associations, for example, universities. Uh, another 29% that is a, a site run by uh, some governments or uh, by uh, the artificial intelligence. So, uh, the young people don't know which uh, we do and uh, that the Wikipedia is created by people. Uh, however, while the above information may be absolutely shocking, the poem seems to be evidence for the lack of critical thinking skills on the facts and I believe some American people, they don't know anything and don't, they don't know, want to check information and from uh, which place they took information. So, uh, if just a copy of uh, uh, sites on the internet, the university, university uh, sites, uh, why would 91 of percent of respondents trust it regardless? For 85 uh, responses, the uh, Wikipedia is on uh, first and only one uh, source of information. All of them uh, believe that Wikipedia contains everything and it's free from any errors. 
So what we have to involve them. It's Wikipedia is free uh, process everything. And it's easily accessible. So what we have to do something. So in the next part of the research, I ask about slightly more specific questions of uh, Wikipedia's activity. For example, who in uh, your uh, who according to you is an administrator, who is an editor, uh, who creates articles, and uh, this is uh, also elementary questions, but due to the lack of the elementary knowledge, young people were more likely to learn new information uh, thanks to these questions uh, and to be added constantly uh, answer for example, in com uh, comment to one of the surveys, a student in a state of shock, a uh, fact uh, for make her realize that Wikipedia is created by people, not by AI. So we could see that uh, young people don't know anything about us, and they think and uh, they think that we are artificial intelligence. So we already have some idea of what Wikipedia is our today of. But why is that way? This is only one, only one answer. Despite the fact that Wikipedia is a free encyclopedia, uh, despite the fact we are transparent, there is no bridge which connect us to the outer world. News about what we do, that we work cool or not, uh, not reach to the outside world. The mass media, uh, writes about Wikipedia only when we have unpleasant situation or like was of, uh, several months ago we have a much major uh, meetings like Wikimania so uh, mass media likes to uh, write about things which is uh, interesting to the people and is uh, easily to sell it for customers. So, as uh, also the Wikipedia have a problem with uh, making content in the social media. The social media is for a very uh, important place, almost sacred place, and we are practically not here. Young Europeans spend as average of two hours per day in social media. It's a lot of time. But unfortunately, it's spent on the content doesn't provide any uh, manageable knowledge, and instantly use makers use stupid uh, search to kill time. But unfortunately, it's increasingly pathological information. So some will ask, why should we push ourselves there, since young people mainly use the social media as means to kill time? The answer is simple. Uh, we have to reach these young people somehow, uh, and tertiary is no better place than social media. Tertiary, but it was already, in my opinion, uh, we shouldn't uh, make uh, content in social media. Social media are currently most characterized by uh, the short, silly uh, videos, and these video videos. Uh, have maybe uh, 30, 40 seconds. Uh, in all this, the videos are shorter and shorter, and today uh, the video uh, to reach uh, more uh, followers uh, seem to be 5 or 2 seconds uh, long, so uh, we couldn't provide any information in this video. It is only a stupid video. So I think that we shouldn't uh, spend our time and money to make uh, that things in the social media. Uh, so, uh, in Poland, we have some experiences with social media that is not very uh, fine. So we have no chance to reach the level of so-called world videos 
for example, we don't have much chance of becoming popular in social media. Besides, do we really uh, want to encourage young people who lost themselves in watching pathological videos, challenges with unstable attention and emotional balance with Wikipedia? I will leave uh, this question unanswered. So, what should we do? The solution lies in some of the activities we are conducting in Poland. Uh, Wikimedia Poland actively works to engage and raise awareness of young uh, people about Wikimedia and Wikipedia. Uh, so we do this in a variety of ways, uh, from visits to the uh, schools, second, secondary schools, primary schools, uh, to cooperate with the uh, institutions, with museums, uh, moreover, in Polish curriculum for the uh, for the primary schools, we have three uh, mandatory lessons ab uh, about Wikipedia. Two in the uh, subject of Polish language and one on the subject of English. So, in Poland, we have to say something about Wikipedia to the students, but uh, the teachers uh, could only. Uh, so uh, the information about Wikipedia, the te which teachers uh, get, uh, gave is only from the curriculum and it's uh, outdated. So we have to uh, also uh, educate, of course, students, but also the teachers. So I will tell you about something interesting project that we will have for uh, people and teachers in public. We have some uh, projects, uh, some of them was ended and some of them, some of them is still running or planned. Uh, yes, as Kasper said, uh, Wikimedia Poland actively work to support uh, educational processes, but uh, I couldn't say that we actively attract uh, young people to be uh, new editors. Uh, we obviously run you know, some educational programs, like probably all other chapters. We are in schools, we are in the universities, uh, we cooperate with museums, uh, but the cooperation is not directly on attracting new uh, young editors. Uh, we used to run one program called Pocket Money, it was a program uh, that uh, gave a group of young students small amount of money to do something with it, uh, which would be connected to Wikipedia. Uh, mostly it was for, I don't know, for, for pizza, for to <laughs> gather people together and edit together, which uh, were not successful. Uh, one of the uh, projects was uh, uh, the flight over the city. Uh, that was really cool. <laughs> uh, the student got uh, 100, around 120 euros uh, uh, to buy a fuel and uh, I don't know, a half an hour with a pilot in a plane. Uh, so that they uh, flew over the city and uh, uh, make uh, uh, photos. Uh, and you could say that this small project was successful because the pictures were beautiful and uh, the student that took them uh, is still active. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's easy to do it once or twice, but you can't pay <laughs> every student 120 euro for a flight over the city. Uh, so, uh, so it's not the way, it's just a small example that could be successful, but it cannot be scaling. The other project we're running now is Wikiteka. It's addressed to librarians working in school libraries. The school libraries are, or probably were, the most abandoned places in schools. Uh, so uh, our uh, educational manager uh, uh, created a program addressed to them uh, to attract them into Wikipedia project and turn school libraries into wiki places. So uh, 
uh, there were workshops for librarians. Uh, they uh, gather every year, every year new group. Uh, now, uh, uh, in the last shot summer, it was second edition. So it's over now almost 40 libraries across the countries involved in this program. And uh, I don't know if there is an oh, answer. No, the, 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 the program is not only based on uh, educating the librarians as trainers of wiki project, but uh, also to make Wikipedia visible in school libraries. So we bought this, uh, how you call this uh, chairs filled with uh, uh, yeah, this the huge pillows. Yeah. Oh yeah, we, we bought for every every library we bought this uh, huge pillow uh, and a desk or a chair, so they can place the computer over there, and uh, students can come lay down on the uh, on the, the, the pillow and uh, think about <laughs> Wikipedia. And if the librarian is active, he could help them to to edit. So we obviously run other projects uh, based on the Wikileaks platform and things like this. But what I see is it's still very hard to attract young people to, <laughs> to be an active editor. And we see it uh, uh, on our conferences where the medium age is probably going to about 40 ish. And, uh, and we see it in uh, everyday editor's life that most of the people who edit uh, are people who came there early. So there are many uh, barriers and obstacles. And uh, in my opinion, we didn't conduct the research yet because there are no resources <laughs> for this, but we'll do. In my opinion, uh, the, the, the reason is the communication, the language of um, editors, the experienced editors, is probably not understood by younger. And that's what we're hearing. So they uh, are un unencouraged at the, the very first steps and they leave the project because they don't like the way that people communicate. And the second thing is that uh, the, the, the logo, the, the brand, is not cool anymore for young people. It's not like Instagram, it's not like other cool brands. It's just more like educational brand that there is, but it's neutral. It, if it disappeared, they will probably switch to YouTube to find, uh, I don't know, short lecture on history or something. Uh, so what we have to improve is uh, how people see the brand and inside how people bring it. And I hope you have comments on this because it would be good to know what uh, your chapters did or what's your impression with young people. Clara, Clara used to work for us. <laughs> if I might. Yeah, shortly. <laughs> Such not big problem. 
And I think the, the most powerful thing are teachers, because, uh, for example, this school library, this project of my colleague, is, uh, is really, uh, maybe there's one pilot <laughs> kid, but for example, these, these lazy bugs are not only, we are just joking about thinking about Wikipedia, but those teachers has to, um, have to make a project during the year. So we really have a whole list of the students, really young students sometimes, projects based on Wikipedia, tools or activities like walking to the gardens and making um, QR codes about uh, um, nature and articles are driven from Wikipedia. Some easy uh, things, but the, the children are actively uh, actively thinking and doing things on Wikipedia and the other ones are writing uh, um, articles and also uh, these teachers are forced by the program to learn how to edit and how to explain Wikipedia to the teachers. So we had 40 libraries and library in school gathered all students from the school. So you can count, for me it's a really improvement as, as I'm thinking about 2019. Uh, it wasn't like that, so I'm proud of this project. <laughs> me too. And me keep too. it going. <laughs> uh, me too, because the, the, this uh, Wikimedia project is growing, and uh, it is a brand in the librarian world, because uh, when we open uh, uh, the list for participants, uh, we could only admit around 20 people, but there is always always more than 100, 150 uh, wants to join. And uh, so, so this project is now known around the country, uh, but still, this is not the answer on, on, <laughs> on the, the, the reasons why young people, sometimes even they go there, go there in the project, but they leave very quickly. And one of the reasons is that they are trash talked <laughs> by uh, editors who, who think that uh, this newbie, newbie's article is a crap, delete it, no worth at all. And if you hear these words, you just discover it. And you're just, you, you don't want to meet these people anymore. Yeah, okay. and then uh, just a question. Uh, are there any uh, student Wikimedia club in your country? Yes. Student, yeah, Wikimedia, we student Wikimedia club. Uh, like uh, the Wiki clubs. Wiki clubs. Wiki clubs. No. Um, yeah. uh, we don't have what? Wiki clubs in schools. Yeah. Uh, we only had the uh, Wiki meetings in Silesia uh, uh, and Poland and also in. Uh, so those school librarians, uh, this is kind of like, I don't know how many of someone that's just school librarians are making like twice a week we meet uh, and make some uh, video connected to Wikipedia. Or so there are no wiki clubs like you probably mean. In school, we, the, the librarians uh, something uh, plan or do some projects and it was for example uh, taking photos and uh, then uh, the libraries of the students publish it in a community commons. But this uh, this project was rare. It was only a few in the whole world. Uh, we have active local uh, communities that uh, meet regularly and edit together. But again, when you look at the age of these people, there are no <laughs> yeah, so it's all mostly uh, there are over 40, 30, 40. Yeah, from my experience, I think it is very uh, good way to encourage the uh, forming the wiki club in the university or school. Uh, maybe because it is a good platform for students to continue to add with friends. Yeah, so maybe the uh, the friends uh, are the same age as the most admitted. Uh, Best motivator. Right. Yeah, so, the, uh, recently there uh, the international connection between the uh, Wiki Student Club, uh, like the extra curricular Wiki Media Club in Matsumo. So, if uh, the Student Club was formed in uh, your country, uh, uh, encourage them to join the uh, international network. Yes, maybe. Um,
good, one of the good ways, I think. Just a suggestion. Thank you so much. Okay, I, I found your uh, questionnaire especially about the Wikipedia and the youth. Very interesting. I drew two conclusions. First of all, it shows the power of social media. The people identify Wikipedia with social media, unfortunately. They, they, it's the same category. Uh, the power of social media can be seen in Wikipedia, not in the big Wikipedia pages, but in Wikipedia discussions. The, 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 the discourse in discussions are adapted from social media. And, and uh, I suppose this happens everywhere. We should explain people that Wikipedia and Wikimedia are not a commercial product. We should explain how it's profoundly different than social media. It doesn't collect, it's not the biggest advertisement agency in the world as, as the social media is, and uh, things like this. Second thing, I, I thought we should teach people the basics of scientific methods, how science works. I remember always about, four, uh, about 50 years ago, my teacher taught, taught me in, in my school what a source is, what is the source, how you select sources, what is source criticism, how you use citations, and uh, things like this. How you, how you set a question when you start studying. We should, these are not very mm, difficult things. These are basic things. And these are basically the same in Wikipedia. And, and, and Wikipedia is not exactly the same as Wikipedia is not science, but still, you know, these are the basics of scientific methods which we should teach. This is what I want to say. Can you speak up, please? I'm talking about Ukrainian experience in organizing big schools for high school at the university. Sorry, sorry. sorry. No problem. Don't worry. You have special assignments. Okay. Please don't get the cats out of my talk. I want the cats in my talk. Okay. Long the next one. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, but not, not to be too pessimistic, I would like to notice that uh, still. Uh, it's not like a very large number of people in every country is editing Wikipedia, right? Even if, when you look at the experience editors, that's, the number of them is not big. In Poland, we are probably very active <laughs> editors, right? And we have uh, less active but regular, like 4,000. Uh, editors. So, uh, uh, the, to be optimistic at the end, probably we don't need a large number of young people to keep the process going, especially that uh, probably we will somehow support it by AI and all automated uh, processes, but uh, the goal is to attract the ones who can do it, who like to do that, and who are active like Kasper. Kasper is 17 years old, he's already the administrator, and he already conducted the research. He is nice to know this, so this is our problem. And he conducted the research based on uh, interviewing 2,000 people. So, <laughs> if we had people like this in our project, uh, uh, I would be very optimistic. About the future of Wikipedia. I shared the uh, uh, research to the teachers, and teachers will send to the other schools, to the colleagues, 
and so and uh, the this on the lessons with case studies and that we have four thousand uh, two thousand uh, one hundred fifty-seven uh, responses. See, <laughs> that's the power of the future of the movement. Thank you.